What's up, Ant City, and welcome to episode or part two of three of my Dokkan battle concept. So, if you haven't seen part one, I did go a lot more into detail about what exactly these concepts are and why I'm doing them. Stuff. So, go watch that one. And especially if you're a fan of Resurrection F, I did a whole Resurrection F Dokkan celebration concept. So, this one I'm not gonna really explain too much. Just the gist of it is, I decided to make some um concepts for possible celebrations that dokkan hasn't done these are just what i think they could do for those celebrations and again i go more in detail about it in the first video so if you haven't seen it go watch that but this video is going to be a saiyan saga celebration so let's just go ahead and jump right straight into it so so the first lr we have here is a kaioken times three goku so you're probably noticing right off the bat that i'm not doing a base goku and I'm actually calling him Kaioken Saiyan 3. Now, obviously in Dokkan, I don't. Whenever it comes to Kaioken Goku's, they don't actually differentiate between the forms. So, for example, a Kaioken Goku, like a Kaioken Times 3 Goku, they don't call him Kaioken Times 3. It's just Kaioken. But I think that they should base it off of Kaioken Times 3 Goku. And the reason I don't have a base Goku here is because we actually just on JP, we haven't gotten it on Global yet, but because of version Z, we just got an LR base Goku from the Saiyan Saga. So I kind of doubt that we're going to get another one as a Dokkan Fest. You know, it's possible. But I think having him start off as Kaioken would be cool. So, uh, yeah. So these are just some of the arts I think they should, they could use. And if you saw my first video, you know, I try to match the arts of the Goku and Vegeta. So that's what's going to happen here as well. M mainly this bottom art is going to match the Vegeta one. So let's go ahead and actually have a look at Vegeta. So this Vegeta, I have him, I called him Enraged Vegeta just because I think that the art that would be the most fitting is any art where he just kind of looks mad or fierce or whatever and i think this art would be the best to use to match up with that kaioken goku pose i have like you know this vegeta has his arms up while the kaioken goku has his arms down i think it's a nice little like you know just they're, they're kind of opposites and i think that it works pretty well uh obviously they could just use any normal vegeta being mad or even this one from the manga because i just think that this is a sick looking shot so yeah, so now let's get into the super attack. So first we're gonna look at Kaioken times three Goku's 12 key attack. So, you know, again, he's already Kaioken, so then he's just gonna do this little attack. You know, he flies up at Vegeta and then just punches him in the gut. And then that's the end of the super attack right there. So instead of like, you know, holding their stomach and going back, the unit, like obviously how Dokkan super attacks are, the character would probably just fall to the ground. But I think having this be just like a quick little punch to the gut is really fitting for how Goku is using Kaioken in this fight. Because when he was fighting Vegeta, he wasn't really trying to overuse Kaioken. He was using it in short bursts just to get off these attacks. So I think a 12 key of him just doing like this gut punch is just so per perfect and fitting. So then the 18 key though is actually in the anime or I think in the manga too. This is actually the Kaioken times 3 attack. That's what it's called. So, you know, it starts off with Goku charging, then the ground shatters, and then he flies at you, and then does the punch, flies around, does this flies around you again and then kicks you in the face and then launches you into a rock. Like, I think having the whole Kaioken times three attack in Dokkan would be fitting for a Kaioken times three Goku's super attack. Now there there is a reason why I am specifically starting him as Kaioken times three Goku, which you'll see, which I actually, I don't think this is likely like the way I have my concept set up. I don't think it's going to be like this, but it's how I set up the concept. So we're just going to roll with it. So that was Kaioken Goku super attack. So now let's get into Vegeta's super attack. So first it would just be a base Vegeta. You know, obviously I called him Vegeta enraged just so he doesn't clash with other base Vegetas and stuff. But either way, uh, this would be base Vegeta's 12 key super attack. So uh, I, I started all, all of these, super, this super attack, by the way, is from after the fight, like basically at the end of the Vegeta and Goku battle when he's fighting Gohan. Uh, I just pulled from there. Obviously, they could pull stuff from before Goku ever uses Kaioken and stuff. The very beginning of the fight. They could pull from there. But I pulled from the end of the fight when he's fighting Gohan. So, 
Uh, I think this little effect right here, like the little jumping effect, that's something Dokkan's never done, and I think it would just look really cool if they put it in the game, so yeah. And then, uh, you know, if you already saw it, but he launches a little key blast out, and then he does a sledgehammer move, because, again, if you saw the first video, the Resurrection F1, you know I like sledgehammers. So then, Vegeta's 18 key super, however, would be him flying up like this, and then, like I said, it's from the Gohan fight again. Now, I use this scene... Because this scene just looks so cool. The way he shoots the key blast and the way they move and everything. Like, look, they swirl up in the air and they just come crashing down like missiles. It, It's so cool. Like, I, I had to use this for the base 18 key. Another reason I... There's a, probably a lot of other scenes I could have used for the 18 key. But you got to remember, there is already an LR Saiyan Saga Vegeta in the form of AGO, Vegeta, and Nappa. So there are some things I can't use just because they already used those for... Uh, for the AGL uh, Nappa and Vegeta, which is also why, spoiler alert, the Gallic gun scene is not going to show up at all in this video just because they already used that on the AGL Vegeta Nappa and it's actually really nicely animated and all that. So I can't really use it because I don't think they're going to redo, like I don't think they're going to use the same thing again, you know? Because they'd either have to reanimate it, which would be weird, or reuse the super attack and I don't think they've ever done that, so... That's why, I, that's why for base Vegeta here, I just use this key blast for his 18 key. Just because this is still a really cool looking scene, I gotta say. Like, look at this. Just the little zoom in, and then just the way they move and like swirl. And, like, it just looks so cool. So I think Dokkan could do that really nicely. So then, the next part of this is the transformation. So, I call them transformations, but the way these transformations would work is actually they would be rage mechanics, not traditional transformations. So... Uh, yeah, so they'd be like, they'd last, they, the way they could do is just have this rage mechanic last like three turns or something, I don't know. So, you know, if you don't know what the rage mechanic is, it's what they use for all, uh, like, great apes and stuff, is when that character takes up, like, all the slots on the team, and they are invincible, and they can do super decks. Uh, it's, it's also what the LR Rosé has when he gets, like, angry. Like, he has his, he, I think it's literally just called Rage. So, he has his Rage form where he pulls out the Scythe. And then, I think Physical Janemba also has it. So, I that's what these transformations would be instead of just traditional transformations. So, the Goku. So, for this one, I kind of had to string stuff together. So, this is actually the scene where he's going Kaioken times three. But bear with me here. So, he starts off like that. He's charging up. And then, I pulled from Kakarot here just because I thought that part looks sick. And then, they could use that to end the transformation. So, this would actually be Goku going into Kaioken times four. Four. Uh, unless they don't, like I said, they could just keep the name though and just call it Kaioken Goku and then that's it. So, you know, they could just do whatever they want at that point. But, the, you know, the, that's why I have him starting off as Kaioken times three because then he goes into Kaioken times four with the rage. The only problem with that is Goku actually never fights in Kaioken times four. He only does Kaioken times four during the Kamehameha with Vegeta. So that's the only problem here. But the reason I had to make this a rage mechanic is because Vegeta, if you but it tell is gonna have a great ape transformation so you know he pulls up the little ball then he throws it and obviously these would all be voiced because it would be an active skill and then he says burst open and mix blows it up and then he starts transforming into a great ape and yeah i don't i don't know if we've ever gotten a fully animated great ape transformation like this before maybe we have but i just think this would be really cool and then yeah that would be like the end of the transformation right there and then it just fades into the rage. So obviously with these being rage mechanics though, it'd be kind of weird running them together on teams, but not really. Just because you could link them up still and then use the rage mechanic and then use Vegeta's after or whatever. I don't even know if they'd link up that well. I'm Like I said, I said this in the first video, I'm gonna say it again here. I'm not getting into like what the leader and passive skills and all that would be. This is just purely like the super attacks and that kind of stuff. Like the art, the super attacks, that kind of thing. And just... All the other stuff surrounding the celebration, like the story events, you know, you'll see as we watch the video, as you watch this video. But yeah, so those are what I think the transformations would be. Obviously, this Goku, I don't think they're going to call him Kaioken times three or Kaioken times four. It'll probably just be Kaioken, even when he's raged. It'll just be Kaioken Goku. So yeah, so then the next thing is Kaioken. So as you can see here, I call him Kaioken times four. So when he's enraged, this as you can see there's only one picture this has to be his art when he's enraged like i'm not accepting anything else being his art when like him having the this is actually when he does go kaioken times four so him just having like the whited out eyes and screaming and it obviously would be his full body this would be such good lr art that's why like for when he's enraged i don't accept anything else but this art right here so we're not even gonna you know there's no reason to even keep 
talking about it. This is the art, like, period. If they ever do a Kaioken Goku again, this is gonna be the art I'm calling it right now. If they don't, then I... Bro, <laughs> what are they doing? If they don't, I'll go to a Katsuki myself. Anyways, so the Grade 8 Vegeta art, though, there's two different things they could use. They could just have, like, you know, the classic Grade 8 flexing pose, but I would prefer this art on the right, because this is actually from the manga, and it's just such cool-looking art, and it'd be so good for a Grade 8, because it's something they haven't really used. And I just think this would be just such cool, like, LR art when he's a grade 8. Like, oh my god, it's, it'd be so perfect. <laughs> the, the, I think the one on the right is definitely what I'd want more. But obviously, I could see them doing something like this, too. Uh, but I'm not budging on that Kaioken times for Goku one. So now, for Goku's super attack. So obviously, since it's Kaioken times for Goku, you already know his 18 key is going to be the Kamehameha. But for the 12 key... I, I'm, this isn't actually the full super attack I would say he does, but I just pulled from Kakarot just because I think this punch that he does to base Vegeta is cool, but obviously that wouldn't be the full super attack. I just couldn't think of anything else to do for his super attack, so I at least think that pulling the punch from Kakarot right here though would be cool. Uh, so I think that they could at least do that much for like the end of the super attack, but everything that comes before it, I was just drawing a blank. And then obviously, like I said, the Kaioken times 4 Goku. So this one, something I actually did that was kind of cool. I might even put it up on screen here. But I basically tried to sync this super attack with the AGL um, base Vegeta, the LR base Vegeta. His Gallic gun. I basically took that and caught, like I, I took that exact scene and just copied it to a Goku version. So I just took basically all the scenes they used for that. I turned it into a Goku version. I even tried to time it all the same and everything. So I'll probably put it on screen for a comparison here as I play it, but we're just gonna watch Kaioken. So, you know, does the little zoom in and then Goku starts charging up to Kaioken. And then he pulls his arms out to start charging up to Kamehameha. And then yeah, he's, his aura bursts out in Kaioken that he launches it. Now, the only caveat that makes this one a little longer than Vegeta's is that part when he goes times four and bursts the Kamehameha. Because Vegeta doesn't do like a little burst like that. It just comes straight down. And then this right here would be the KO screen. Where he like is all tired and stuff. That would be a really sick KO screen. Uh, like at least in my opinion. So yeah, I think that would be cool. And yeah, I just basically made it to match the Vegeta's one. So yeah, right, like right here the aura bursts out and everything like that. Um, but yeah, like I said, the part that makes this one a little bit longer than Vegeta's is because right here he does the times four burst when he actually goes Kaioken times four and then his leg comes up like that. That all Vegeta didn't do a burst like that. So yeah, but otherwise everything is like exactly the, se the same as that AGL Vegeta super attack. So yeah. So next let's get into Great Ape Vegeta super attack. So this is, again, Great Ape is kind of like an interesting thing because he did fight Goku a lot, but there's only a few things I could think of for a super attack. So his 12 key... Uh, I just have him, you know, walking up, being all menacing, you know, taking these giant steps, and then he, like, slaps Goku away into the rock, and then he just starts, you know, he jumps on him and then breaks his legs, and I think it'd be cool if he goes in for the poke like he was gonna do. Obviously, he didn't ever actually poke Goku, because Bo Goku blasted him in the eye, but I think him going for the poke in his Dokkan super attack would be kind of sick. I don't know if Dokkan would animate that, kind of like... If you saw in the last video with Tagamo ripping off Piccolo's arm, I don't know if they're going to want to be that brutal. But I think it'd be cool if, you know, he runs up, slaps you, and then crush, like, steps on you, and then tries to poke you. Like, it's just really menacing. It's just him showing that he's gigantic, you know? It's like, it's fitting for a great ape. And then his 18 key, he would, you know, do this little punch into the rocks, and then just keep beating you into these rocks. And then he'd kick you away. And then he would dash at you, and then do the mouth cannon. That's actually what Vegeta used, as you can see there, to interrupt Goku's spirit bomb. And, you know, it's a great ape, and mouth cannons are pretty common for them. I think every great ape in the game has a literal mouth cannon super attack when they're... And again, this would be a rage mechanic thing, so... Yeah, and I did confirm that LRs, when they are rage, they do actually have a, still have a 12 and 18 key. So that's why the Vegeta and Goku here do have a 12 and 18 key. So... Yeah, but that, that's the super attacks for Goku and Vegeta. That's pretty much everything for the two main LRs. So next we get into the side units. So again, like I said in the first video, so the side units and the free-to-play units in this video, I to me, they're interchangeable. So what I say are side units, they could also be free-to-play units, and those free-to-play units could maybe be side units. I just basically picked my favorites. So I think for a side unit, what would be sick 
on Goku's banner is a Yajirobe. Again, just like the Jacko in the last video, this art right here would just be hilarious SSR. Like you, when you pull the unit, this is his art. And then, uh, you know, obviously his TUR art would be him cutting off the tail. Like it just makes sense for me. Like to me, this makes sense for a Yajirobe. Just this little art of him like running away. Cause this is just such like a perfect shot. Like to me, this like already looks like a Dokkan card art like just like take it and put it onto a dokkan card art it look, like it'd be perfect and then the yajirobe cutting off the tail is just an iconic scene and then for vegeta's banner as a side unit honestly the only thing i can think of was a nappa even though we already have the lr nappa and vegeta i literally couldn't think of like a better side unit than nappa and like i said we are going to talk about the free-to-play units which maybe some of one or two of, well could it be two but maybe one of those could be the side unit instead of Nappa, but Nappa to me was just the best choice. Also because there's actually not an a, a Nappa in the game that does the arm crash. Like at least not in the newer animation style. There might be like an old Nappa that does arm crash, but I'm not talking like that doesn't count. So there's not a Nappa in like the newer animation style though that actually does the arm crash. That's why that could be his art too. Like this could be his, you know, SSR when you pull him and then his TUR is actually the arm crash pose. So, and I had to use this scene because there's actually a lot of Nappas in the game, like uh, like our Nappas and stuff that have the other arm crash poses that are more iconic, but I could have used them because that art's already used and I don't think Dokkan ever copies the same art for two, for like the same, like if an art's already been used in the game, I don't think they use it again. So yeah, unfortunately, but I mean, they still have this that they could use or something like that. Uh, so now let's get into the super attack. So Yajirobe super attack, I think it'd be funny if he starts off, you know, like hiding behind the rock, all scared. But then he like, you know, hypes himself up. He's like, yeah, I'm going to do this. And he runs up, jumps, cuts off the tail. And this right here would be, again, where like the stat, the damage points and all that are showing up. It would be so perfect. But yeah, it's like he'd be hiding behind the rock, all scared at first. And then he'd get like a more serious expression and then run out there, go for the little jump and then cut off the tail. Well, obviously he wouldn't be cutting off the tail of, you know, every enemy in the game for Dokkan, but at least a little animation for when he cuts off the tail, they could use that. Just cause it's like, again, iconic for Yajirobe during the Saiyan Saga. So the next we have the Nappa, which I already talked about it, but again, we don't have Nappa who actually does arm crash in the newer animation style. So even the AGL Nappa and Vegeta, he, he doesn't do this. So obviously I don't think he'd cut off the opponent's arm. They're not gonna show that, but he'd probably just punch them, you know, at least. And yeah, I just think that this would be a sick super deck because, you know, we haven't seen it in the game and Nappo did play a huge role during the Saiyan Saga. So I think that this is really fitting for a Nappa. So, and again, this could be like his uh, same thing with the Yajirobe. It would just be the same unawaken and awaken. He wouldn't have two different super attacks, I don't think. So yeah, so the next we have the free to play unit. So the first one that came to mind for me was the Cybermen. Because again, the Cybermen during the Saiyan Saga did actually have a pretty important role. And by Saiyan Saga, I mean the Vegeta part of the Saiyan Saga. So I think the Cybermen as a unit would be pretty cool. You know, they, they, yeah, they could have them start off as like a Cybermen by itself and then it turns into a group of them. Just because the Cybermen were actually kind of a menace at first and they fought against the Z-Warriors. And then the next free to play unit they could do is Chaozu and Tien. I will talk about why specifically Chaozu and Tien later, because if you saw the last video, you'd probably think like, oh, maybe a Z Fighters, but there is a reason I specifically say Chaozu and Tien, and it would be an exchange unit because we haven't gotten a free to play exchange unit in a bit. I think the, I can't even, I, I know for sure that the tech Gohan and Goku and then the tech Vegeta and Trunks, those were exchange units. I got easy A's and everything. I don't know if we've gotten a free to play exchange unit since then, but a Chaozu and Tien to me would be perfect. So let's go ahead and take a look at the super attacks now. So first would be the Cyberman super attack. Uh, I didn't have a separate super attack for the Cyberman by himself because I just forgot to do it. But we do have at least the main super attack when they're all awakened. So they look at you and then they start spinning around you because I just think that'd be a cool little animation. And then they all jump down and just start like fighting you, you know, like just doing little punches. And then that would be the end of the super attack when he elbows you right there like that's how the super attack would end with this cyberman elbow as you could like if as you saw there was only three cybermen that actually launched attacks but obviously they could just put in more and stuff like that but i think at, like that's kind of just the gist of it you know but i think that it ending with this would just be really perfect but i for me the main thing though was this animation right here where they're like spinning around you i just think it's funny and i think it'd be perfect for like the cybermen and like i said this could be a side banner unit too 
but yeah so now let's get into the tn and shout to exchange so as you can see there's three things here because we have the super attack when they're normal tn and shout to and then the exchange and then just tn so which as you, if this one's just tn i bet you can guess what the exchange is so with tn and shout to would start off with tn fighting this cyberman so he does like this little pushback move right here and then he runs at them and then jumps over them and then t Tzu could stop them in place with telekinesis and then tn does a little elbow and they drop to the floor like to me that's just you know they could that's how they could splice that together because Tzu during the anime didn't actually use this scene on a cyberman at least not that cyberman that tn was fighting so i think just having them you know because Tzu always is using telekinesis so i think having them together doing that would be cool and then the exchange would again like you could probably guess what it is but it's chaotsu's sacrifice so you know it, uh, again since it's an it would be an active skill exchange or maybe like a revival or something i don't even know but it would be voiced at least in my opinion i think that this exchange should be voiced and it's chaotsu just blowing himself up and then you know tian freaks out and starts yelling and yeah so then after that it would and as you can see this tian also only has one arm so then it would exchange into just tn by himself so then yeah you know he's doing this little i think this is called spirit tribeam actually is what the name of that move is so yeah just i think that would be perfect for a tn to do by himself and if you look at if we go back to the art actually you notice that i have three different arts here i didn't talk about it then but yeah so it's chaotsu and the tn and chaotsu then he exchanges into this so so let's get into some Dokkan Awakenings now. So these are two units I think they could Dokkan Awaken. Uh, these are both these would both be free to play units because they are still under the free to play section. So first, this Nappa I only have him on here because what you're seeing right now is currently his maxed out form in the game. So as you can see, he is not a TUR right now. So I think if they Dokkan Awaken him into a TUR, it would be fitting for the Saiyan Saga celebration, and it's a giant ape Nappa. Because to me, it was just weird that they stopped here and didn't give him another awakening to TUR. So it's like, why not at this point, you know? And then on the right is... Um, this was actually a special celebration unit. I Actually, I think... Was this an April Fool's unit? It might have been. So if the, I think this was an April Fool's unit, which in that case, they're definitely not going to doke on awaken him. But if it wasn't... I think it was. But like I, I forgot to look into it before I put him on here. But under the... Under the assumption that they're not a uh, April Fool's unit, they could Doke and awaken them. Just because, again, like there's, it's just a funny little like Cybermen group, like a group. And it's actually just like they're considered just one Cybermen for some. But yeah, so I think that them be getting a Doke on awakening because again, they were an event unit, and they have before brought back units that were exclusive to events and made them like they gave them Doke on awakenings, or if they already had Doke on awakenings, they gave them easy A's. And actually had a free-to-play way for you to grind them and get them to like rainbow and all that because i don't think you can actually rainbow this cyberman in the game because when they gave them out it was just the one copy so yeah but i think this was like an april fool's unit so i kind of don't think they're gonna awaken him and stuff but uh if he wasn't though then it's a possibility and i think it'd be just really fitting because it's saiyan saga and obviously it'd be kind of funny just having this like rank because they their super attack is completely original because especially this one with like the sword um because this was based on like an actual dokkan loading screen or like the title screen so yeah but now let's just go into the next section which would be story events so all they would really need to do is bring us a new story event for the free to play units like the tn and stuff because i would say they could revamp because there is a saiyan saga event in the game right now and i would say they could revamp that but they actually already did when version z came out which it's only out on jp as at the time of me recording this so they actually already went ahead and revamped that story event so really the only other thing they can do is bring a new one because i don't think they're going to revamp it twice you know so all they could really do now is bring us a new story event for these free-to-play units so yeah that's basically all there is there and so now some units i think they could easy a so I think really the only unit that needs it for this celebration would be this LR Piccolo. This LR Piccolo, let me tell you, he's pretty bad. He's not the best unit, but if you notice like the scene it is, this is actually a Saiyan Saga Piccolo. So if they haven't easy ate him yet, the best time to do it would be during the Saiyan Saga celebration. And if you look on the top right there, I think they should also revamp his 18 Chi super attack just because it's kind of old looking. And again, they've done it before, like a Int LR Gohan had his super attack revamped and so did AGL Majin Vegeta. So I think this Piccolo getting a revamp is definitely possible just because his 
attack animation so old and it can make it look way better. Uh, but I think at least easy a hit would be nice for the celebration just because, again, he's a Saiyan Saga unit. He's an LR, all of that. So I think him getting an easy a would just make sense. So yeah, and then the next thing we move into is the part two LR. So again, like I said in the last video, I'm doing the part two in case this ends up being like an anniversary celebration or something. But I think it should be a Kid Gohan, specifically when he launches back the Spirit Bomb, I think would be a pretty fitting LR. So let's get into his super attacks now. So his 12 key super attack is, you know, again from the Vegeta fight, he just basically launches all these Masenkos at Vegeta over and over. So I think him at least launching one would be the best. But in this scene, he actually launches like multiple back to back. Like he's just spamming them at Vegeta. So they could even do that. But I think at least him shooting off like the one and then trying to shoot off another one would make sense. And then if you saw, you know, the art, his 18 key. Wait, hold on. They're both playing at the same time. Pause this. So then his 18 key would just be this scene when the spirit bomb is getting launched at him. And he just launches that spirit bomb right back at Vegeta. So, or well, we wouldn't be specifically Vegeta and Dokkan, but like right back at the enemy. And then they have this cool animation of, you know, the enemy getting launched up into the spirit bomb and then out of the stratosphere. And then the KO screen here would be Gohan falling back and then all happy and stuff. Like, yeah, that would be the KO screen right there. To me, it's like a perfect... But yeah, so that was Gohan's super attacks there. So now we're going to get into the final segment for this video, which is the honorable mention. So first, you're probably noticing there's a lack of a few characters in this, in this celebration so far, such as the boy Yamcha. So I think Yamcha would actually work as like a free-to-play unit or something. Uh, but I already had Tien and Chaozu with the exchange. Like I think to me that's such like a so much cooler free-to-play unit. But obviously they don't always just do one free-to-play unit. So, or like even two sometimes they have like four so Yamcha is definitely possible for a free-to-play unit I don't think he'd be a side banner unit I think free-to-play makes the most sense for him so for this one so for some of these honorable mentions I actually did do super attacks for them just because I had some really cool ideas like for this Yamcha it would be him when he fights against the Cybermen so he's doing all these punches and stuff then he trips him kicks him and kicks him away and then he teleports up and does this Kamehameha and I just think this Kamehameha looks really cool so, you know, giving the boy Yamcha some respect with like a really nicely animated super attack would be cool. And yeah, I think that he would just be a really good free to play unit for this celebration. So, yeah. So then the next honorable mention on the list is a Piccolo. So if you saw the easy A section, that's the really the only reason I didn't really include Piccolo in the celebration. Because if they easy A the LR, then that's to me, that's them including Piccolo in the celebration. But they could definitely give us a new Piccolo, like, again, a free-to-play unit, because I don't think he'd really fit as a side banner unit. But maybe, they, you know, they could do it. Uh, but somewhere, they could fit a Piccolo. And so the super attacks here would be... So the Cyberman, like, so they have the enemy jump out of that. But Piccolo actually grabs his arm like this, and then he throws him into the air. Like after he punches him, throws him into the air, and then does a little mouth blast onto him and blows him up. So... Basically, like both of those scenes right there, like when he's grabbing the arm and blowing them up, those are both actually some of the arts I picked for what this Piccolo could be. Uh, so yeah, but the other way they could do this unit is if we had a Tien and Chaozu, they could do a Piccolo and Krillin. Because there's this scene where they're all using like after images right here that they act, this was actually in the anime, they fought against I think Nappa and Piccolo and Krillin together did after images. So if they have Tien and Chaozu, they could do a Piccolo and Krillin as well as a free to play unit. But, you know, that was just a maybe. But, I like, if they want to include Piccolo more than just his easy A, I think these would be two good ways to do it. And then the next honorable mention here is actually a Krillin. So, I wanted to talk about this for a second. So, if you notice, this Krillin is separate from the Gohan. Because, now, they both are from the exact same scene with the Spear Bomb. Because Krillin was the actual one who threw the Spear Bomb and Gohan knocked it back. You're probably wondering why I didn't just make them one unit by themselves. And why Krillin is under honorable mentions. And there's actually a reason for that. So... The main reason is, and again, just side note, this Krillin would be an LR with the Spirit Bomb here. It would be an LR Krillin. But the main reason I didn't have Gohan and Krillin together is because we already got a Gohan and Krillin LR. So I feel like doing another one would be kind of like cheap, you know? So you're probably wondering why I even used Gohan and Krillin, or like even the Gohan as an LR at all. The main reason for that is because I literally couldn't think of another character they could do for an LR during the celebration so i thought kid gohan would make the most sense and what they could do is just uh take other scenes for the kid gohan to be his own lr 
Like, he doesn't have to do the spirit bomb stuff, but I just thought that would be the most fitting. Um, but I didn't want to do another Gohan and Krillin as an LR. And then the other reason is because we actually do have an LR Krillin from the Saiyan Saga already. To be fair, it's not a spirit bomb Krillin. It's actually just the Destructo Disc and Scatter Kamehameha Krillin, which is, he was a, the free-to-play prime battle Krillin. So we technically already have him in the game as, as an LR. That's also why Krillin's just under honorable mentions, because we already have a unit we can use for that. But... I went ahead and put a Spirit Bomb Krillin into here too, just because I don't think it's likely, because I don't think they're going to do a second Gohan and Krillin LR. And it, again, some people might think it's kind of weird if, like, for the Gohan, they just use the Spirit Bomb without having Krillin throw it and all that. Like, I don't know. I couldn't think of, like, another super attack or, like, iconic moment like that. For Go like, obviously, Gohan at other moments, but to me, that was just the most iconic of him, like, knocking back the Spirit Bomb. So that's why I have him separate from Krillin, though, is mainly just because we already got one during the Namek Saga celebration. So it'd be weird to get two of them, you know, like that. Pretty, like, I don't know. To me, it'd just be kind of weird. But I did go ahead, though, have Krillin on this honorable mentions list, and he does have super attacks. So the first one, now, the, for, his super, for his 12 key super attack, I kind of just had fun with it. I guarantee you there's no way they're doing this in Dokkan, but it would be the seed when he tries to stab Vegeta with the sword. But, like, imagine he's, like, actually stabbing. Like, obviously, Dokkan's not going to show him stabbing someone. But just imagine, like, you know, obviously, the screen probably just go, like, dark and show, like, the hit effects and stuff. But, like, again, imagine that as a, a super attack for Krillin. Because that'd be raw. The, the main reason I did this, though, is because the Destructo Disc and Scatter Kamameha were already used for the other Krillin. And, again, I was just having fun with it. And I couldn't really think of another scene to use. I was like, imagine Krillin just pulls out a sword <laughs> for his super attack. And then, obviously, the 18 key would be him throwing the spirit bomb just you know just like the gohan when he knocked it back this one would be krillin throwing it but obviously it would be without the gohan knockback part so you know he just does that and then it hits vegeta and it'd probably just do like the same animation i had at the end of gohan's where it shows him like going flying up into the air after getting hit by it so yeah but uh so like yeah i don't know if they'd actually do a krillin and gohan as the lrs uh, for part two but i like i said i couldn't think of anything else for a possible part 2 LR, so yeah. And then the next thing, the very last honorable mention and last thing for this video is the Z Warriors. So I think that the Z Warriors all together could be a card, but again, I just don't know how likely it is. And I think having like a Tien and Chao to exchange would be cooler. But I think this is a good way to like represent all the characters again. I didn't do a super attack for them though. So just like basically take a bunch of the stuff I showed and just kind of combine it, you know, just use your imagination or just, you know, look up some scenes or something. I. Like I said, by the time I got to this, I was like tired because it it's a lot of work to get through and make your own like super attacks and all that. It's a lot. So I was just like, you know what? I'm just going to put this at the end, the Z Warriors all together. But yeah, that's it for this video though. So what I'm doing with all of my concepts here is I'm actually going to leave, uh, if I can figure out how to do it, a Google Drive link in the description and the comic. Com I'm going to leave a Google Drive link in the description and the comments so that way you guys can go in and save a copy of this PowerPoint and add your own stuff to it or change stuff that I put. You know, do whatever you want with it. And you know, you can share it on Twitter or Reddit or wherever you want to share it. If you do share it on Twitter, please tag me in it because I'd love to see what you guys come up with. Or if you don't want to download the whole Google Drive and do all that, you can just type out your concept in the comment and I will read it. Uh, because I like I said I'm really curious to see what you guys can come up with for a concept and you know you can base it off of mine if you want and just add or take away stuff from it or you can just do your own complete uh, concept for Saiyan Saga but it doesn't even have to just be like a Saiyan Saga concept that you come up with like for any of these videos it doesn't have to be the theme that I picked if you want to put like a like I know a lot of people want to LR Kid Buu because he hasn't gotten one and like he really deserves one so if you want to do like a boot another boo saga celebration that includes kid boo somehow and you know you want to do something like that go ahead like i would love to read what you guys can come up with for celebrations because there's like a lot of stuff dokkan can still do and these three videos that i'm making are just you know some of the like the biggest ones they could do so yeah but that's it for me though uh thank y'all for watching hope y'all enjoy make sure you leave again leave your uh concepts either down in the comments or if you download the google drive just tag me on twitter or if you don't want to leave a comment or download the google drive and you want to make a tweet about it you can go ahead and tag me there too because again i'd love to see what you guys have you know, like what ideas you guys can come up with maybe you guys would even come up with stuff i didn't even think of you know it's definitely possible but again like i said though thank y'all for watching hope y'all enjoyed um till next time though
Uh, make sure you share this video around to your grandma, your grandpa, your manager, your co-workers. And if you like these videos that much, make sure you save them down to your favorites playlist. But yeah, that's it for me. So until next time, I'll see you all later. And peace. Have a good day or night, y'all.